Hello YouTube, it is Toya Ruth here with the Divas in the Details and I'm coming back to you with yet another perfume video. This time we'll be talking about Maison Lancome fragrances. So Lancome is known for tons of different designer fragrances and its makeup collection and its beauty um, products. However, it has an exclusive perfume line um, that to me tinkers on almost being more niche and I did a video, um, so check the link in the description box for a comparison between Lancome's Oud, Oud Bouquet and um, Swiss Arabian Chagaf Oud. And that was a pretty fun um, comparison for me. And so now I'm talking about everything that I have that's from Maison Lancome. So first off, we're going to start with one that was like, um, I felt like um, the OG to uh, <laughs> Oud Bouquet, but then I later found out that it was actually released after Oud Bouquet, but um, I, I was like, it's, it's a more beefy version, um, less rosy than Oud Bouquet, and that would be none other than L'Autre Oud, and, and L'Autre means other, so other Oud. And so let me show you what the bottle looks like. Very similar to Oud Bouquet. Instead of, though, the juice being more um, ambery, the juice for a Lothar Oud is more true golden, more like a cognac color. So this particular fragrance. I love all of the Oud fragrances from Lancome. Oh, my goodness. So um, for Lothar Oud, the nose behind this fragrance is um, Christophe Renaud. And um, this is right off the bat agar wood, so that's all that oud, that nice woodiness. This has um, damask rose, this has saffron, this has cypriol oil. So saffron can be like very um, potent and it can kind of um, zing you a little bit where it makes you want to cough um, uncontrollably. This is blended more smoothly than that. So that's not the case. How I think of this is like if I were in a spice house um, or I'm surrounded by incense and it just smells like this woman can cook. <laughs> that's, that's what this smells like. Um, this is a very rich fragrance. Um, I smell wood. I smell spice. I'm not getting a ton of rose. Um, for me, wood and spice, um, this has great sillage, um, so it projects very, very well, great longevity. I think it's a beautiful fragrance. In contrast to Oud Bouquet. So Oud Bouquet is a, a, a Toya Ruth, the Divas and Det Details favorite. Um, this is what the bottle looks like. You've seen this one before on the channel. That's the other side. And then the juice for here is ooh, deeper, richer more rosy oh I love both of these fragrances so Oud Bouquet we talked about this before the nose behind it is um Fabrice Pellegrin and this is praline and you get that right off the bat this is agar wood so that's a little bit of Oud this is rose and vanilla what I smell more than anything is praline rose and vanilla in this fragrance I could have really done this in my um favorite vanilla fragrances, but there are so many other ones that vanilla is like in your face, in your face. Ignore my daughter. She's watching um, a video. She's so excited. Um, but this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. This is feminine. This is strong. This is confident. This is rich. Um, this is decadent. Every time I wear this fragrance, my husband's like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> like every single time. And I'm like, you know it's Oud Bouquet. You act surprised every time. But he really, really likes that fragrance. Um, he's the type of person that he knows what he likes when he smells it. But he's not paying attention to these names. So like, if I wear something else for a few days and then I put on Oud Bouquet, he's like, no, that's what I like. <laughs> I'm like, that's Oud Bouquet. Okay, the next one. I have a small bottle of this one. Um, because this was a blind buy and I wasn't sure about it. So I was just trying to play it safe. But this is none other than Jasmine's Marzipan. They have done such a great job with this packaging. I think that it is absolutely beautiful. So Jasmine Marzipan is a floral musk is the description for it. Um, it actually says it can be worn for a man or a woman. I do think this leans more on the feminine side. The nose behind this is Dominique um, Ropion, I think is how you pronounce the name. And this is Sandbag Jasmine, and you get that jasmine flower right off the bat. This is almond wood, so this is a lighter wood. This is musk. 
This is bourbon vanilla, this is sandalwood, this is cashmere wood. So I'm gonna be totally honest. I do not smell a ton of vanilla in this fragrance. What I actually smell is jasmine wood and, uh, I mean jasmine and a ton of wood. So this makes me think of if I took um, a spring break trip to a cabin or if I went to Aspen um, for a spring break, and um, the flowers were just coming out of winter and someone had some jasmine or maybe they picked some jasmine and put it on a wooden table in a cabin. That's what this smells like. But this is not a cold, um, wintry cabin. This is a spring, um, this is March, April cabin-y feel to me. But this is flowers, flowers and wood. Um, I am actually glad that I got um, this in... 1.7 ounces instead of the 3.4 because um, the other two, Lothar Oud and Oud Bouquet, Oud Bouquet, blew me away and they steer you towards a totally different type of fragrance profile that this was such a departure. I think that I can get through 1.7 ounces. I would not have been able to get through 3.4 ounces of this because there are other fragrances that are more similar to Oud Bouquet that are the vanilla, um, the bourbon. I like coffee fragrances. I like caramel. I like more um, yummy, edible, gourmand fragrances. Um, I didn't know I liked rose as much as I did, but those have turned me on to rose. That this one would not get as much um, time in the game <laughs> as the other uh, players that play. So it is what it is. I think that it's lovely the way um, Lancome blends all of their fragrances. It is a nice fragrance. It's just not a fragrance that is like in my wheelhouse that I would normally gravitate to. So um, it's nice. It's not a love. The other two are loves. The next fragrance was hard for me to come by. And this is none other than Parfait de Roses. And that's what the juice looks like. This is a floral fragrance. This is rose, 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 rose vanilla, tonka bean. If you can say that this is a boozy rose, I smell a liqueur in here. So if you can say this is a boozy rose, vanilla, and tonka bean, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is what we like. This is rose, which, um, to be quite honest, I could take or leave rose. I'm not always checking for rose. I am checking for... Um, tonka bean, caramel, amber, sandalwood, vanilla. But the fact that they blended this rose so nicely with the vanilla, the tonka bean, and benzoin. Oh. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. This is sexy. Um, this is warm. This is decadent. This is lovely. I actually don't know which one I like the most out of Parfait de Roses. Um... Lothar Udo. Okay, I'm lying. I'm lying. Let me tell the whole truth. And we're going to put Jasmine Mars of Hands to the side. We're going to smell Oud Bouquet. Which one? Oud Bouquet or Parfait de Roses? I'm gonna give Oud Bouquet the win. I feel like Oud Bouquet is more interesting than Parfait de Roses, even though they they are the two top guns. So how I would order these fragrances, if you're a type of person who likes um, vanilla, you like um, rosy fragrances, um, what else? I don't know. I like the praline in the Oud Bouquet. I like the edibleness of the Oud Bouquet. So I would say Oud Bouquet, Parfait de Roses, Lothar Oud, and then Jasmine's Marzipan. So that would be the order of my fragrances in my Maison Lancome collection. Um, just so you can get a sense of what the juice looks like. Um, Oud Bouquet, Parfait de Roses, Lothar Oud, so I'm going to just leave that, oh, I'm losing it, so 
I don't think I'm gonna be able to capture, but the lightest one would be Jasmine's marzipan. And I'm just gonna show you next to Lothar Oud so you can get a sense of how much lighter Jasmine marzipans is than Lothar Oud. And then um, the richest juice would be Oud Bouquet. But all the fragrances are lovely. Maison Lancome has done a great job of blending fragrances that are unique. They have amazing longevity. I'm talking about eight to 12 hours of wear. I'm talking about great projection. When you walk past somebody, you're gonna leave your essence behind. They're gonna remember you when they smell it. Beautiful, beautiful fragrances. I don't regret any of the buys, even though I love some more than others. If you enjoyed this con comment, <laughs> if you enjoyed this content, I'm so excited. Please like and subscribe and come back for more. Thanks a lot. Bye.